Hi folks, I've just guessed out a very rough woodland scene and this is the 90 pound Windsor Newton rough. Uh, I've wet it so it's just in the process of expanding and I'm in the process of reclipping it as it so it's staying nice and flat even though it's a, quite a thin paper, it's a beautiful paper but I there's no more of it. Uh, Somebody was talking about a perspective. I, I think perspective can be boring if you learn it in a scientific way, but but as you go along. But um, I've got this the camera on a, on a boom that I that has been adapted for a microphone stand, and my little tripod by Fred Gillespie, who uh, was an engineer, uh, brilliant watercolor painter. And some years ago, he invented this. It's a perspective finder. You take it out outdoors if you want to draw from life, and you hold it up, keep it horizontal, and you can put that magnetic or magnetized ruler across, and you can get your roof lines, and that sort of thing. Brilliantly simple, and it, I have used it outside. It's, it's lovely. You can just hold it up if you're in a room. You want to do an interior. You can hold it against this, hold it horizontal, and you can get your ceiling lines. Brilliant, lovely. That's what it is. And I think they're still still available. Fred Gillespie, double L. I'm not advertising for him. I, I'm not sure if he still makes them. But I, the point is, he's a very very talented man, a brilliant watercolor painter, good at whatever he does. Really, very good with his hands. Okay, uh, I've got my palette here. It's a large, slightly larger one, and I'm going to put a bit of uh, bit of warm sienna, but not not a not a lot. The paper is sort of soaking up the water now. I'm hoping I'm going to get a new camera today, me eBay. I've never heard of it, it's, it's an expensive one, but inexpensive. Let's put a bit of, a bit of red in there. But it's got that function that you can pause and record. And I don't seem to... Well, if the doorbell goes and the phone rings, I can pause it. And then when I want to start the video up again, I just press OK and it'll carry on. Rather than with this Canon camcorder. It starts off a new video and then I have to knit them together. So I'm looking forward to receiving this. So let's have a bit, bit of blue in there. And we'll put some cloud in. Streaky now. Right, I'm going to put a little bit of the yellow, cad yellow, in a touch of red, touch more red. A lot of the background's going to be covered up. This is a sort of a, a glade in a wood. Okay, I'll do. You see, and I, hopefully I'll be able to dry that off and you won't hear it because it's a blooming nuisance, I know. I usually give an, an adequate warning. I just dried off a bit so the future sound will fast forward. Oh, 
did I say this was 90 pound rough? It's not, it's 90 pounds not, not hot pressed. So it's not as rough as the, the, uh, the rough one. So I hope it will scrape out a bit. So I'm going to put a bit of a background in, a blue, a bit of a lizard. Don't use a lot of alizarin. I'm using a lot of black lately though. I like black. Okay, let's just get the This all dries a lot lighter to another little man than when it first goes on. So, so we have to allow for that. Right, put some green in there, bluey green. Bit of a autumn scene. It's a very cold day in London, so I'm, we we're expecting a hurricane Caroline. No, that's right. That's just you know, lift, lifts out a bit. Probably a bit too soon to do that, but let's put in some some burnt sienna and some cajolo, bit of red, those autumn leaves, bit of umber. See how flat the paper is? It just washes at the moment. Ah, oh, that's for your tea. Right, I'll never know how these are going to turn out. Bit of blue, a bit of sienna. I haven't gone into the black yet. Just a bit of shadow in there. Reflections in there. Okay, let's go down to the other side now. Those autumn leaves. It's still autumn, but the temperature outside here is about five degrees centigrade. Shadowy bits on the quick my little man is there, so I'll it's all trying in nicely. Right now I want to get some really good rich green. So burnt sienna, so a bit of black. It's the thing about this paper, you can get some lovely effects with the merging of, of, of uh, things. 
I mean, that soaks into the paper and it doesn't form cauliflowers unless you really overdo it. See where I've scraped out, it's it's filled back into the into the groove. And uh, Stephen Crane does that with his rigger. And I've done it with my nails, funny enough. This is totally different than the Fabriano. But it just gives that impression that there are lots of other trees at the back. All right, let's go back into that foreground a little bit with some darker, darker green. So black. I'm using lots of black at the moment as a shortcut to the greens, the dark greens. Some shadow in the bushes there. See how it's drying in? A bit of a bit of burnt sienna. Got to put the big trees in later. So if I have, this camera works okay when it eventually comes, I can pause here and let that dry off and finish my cup of tea. As it is, you have to wait for me to, to drink it. Uh, I suppose it's never far from a cup of tea. And don't believe all you read about coffee's taking over. It hasn't. We still drink our tea. Although coffee is getting more popular. So for a price of Starbucks coffee you can watch over a hundred of my videos for four dollars. But I'm doing more on Patreon as I get better with the uh, camera because I can do trailers and and stuff. I know some of you don't like it, you don't think we should do it, but, but hey, this all costs money. And nice to get it back. I don't, this is all, the only painting I do now is for, you know, on YouTube, on the Patreon because it's uh, I've, done, I've done all the heavy stuff, all the big oils and stuff and I just love doing this, these watercolours. I will go back to some acrylics soon. All right, let's just put in some. I'm going to try to make the left hand different. The wife's downstairs. He's uh, putting up some of the Christmas decorations. Do that every year. Like that. Oh, my little man there. Don't want to cover him up. Put a little bit of, bit of red in there. So it's all nice and a few warm colours. Autumn leaves. Right now. Starting to take a little bit of dry brush there now as it's drying off. But I can go back at the end to finish off the detail.
I don't think some of you think we should earn any money from that painting. Just give it all away for nothing. A little bit of grasses in there, and when I get down to it. Okay, I'm going to try that off. The headphones off. Go. that okay now we'll start putting in some 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 trunks that's uh, we'll have a bit greeny or greeny grey so uh, burn umber Too big. Do we cover up all that sky? Very easy to go a bit mad with it. It's just a stretch of paper. See how thin this is, 90 pound. Okay, lovely. There we are. Get a lot of these rigors, uh, rigors with a hake. I'm going to put some burnt sienna, the raw sienna, just on one side of that. Get a bit of light. I might even do a bit of a bit of white there to show catching the the light. I'll just be able to do with uh, some of that. Now, when you do a tree, you've got to, got to anchor it. So I will put in a bit of, a bit of anchoring. Okay, uh, I'm a little bit bluer with my man. So yellow, that uh, burnt sienna, that does give a bit of distance, believe it or not. Alright, let's have a 
more shadowy one. That's a blue number. Grey. You could spend hours doing these. Probably haven't got hours. Okay, that'll do for that side. Let's go into the middle and do some blue ones. Blue ones. And I can use a bit of black in with your blue. Just makes it more of a... Oh, that might be my camera. See where the bell go? I might be disappointed, it's only cost 15. Fifty-five pounds, including postage. Tom will put some autumn leaves on this. Okay. Right, let's just get some some greeny blue. It's texturing now. Okay, let's put some A little bit free there. I'm gonna get some. Just got enough tooth to take that dry brush. Don't want too much here. I'm gonna have some darker. Blue there. Excuse me, my brush gone out. Okay, so we're just putting some, some darker leaves. I think we'll have a dark green for some of these because you do get some greenery. I'll get a diff different green, I think. I'll use the um, bit of... Uh, Bit of yellow ochre. Not yellow ochre, we're all seeing that. Okay, I'm going to do some rig well some some rough stuff in there. I just had to answer the door then. And uh, thinking my camera would come because my wife's out, but it wasn't delivery for some, f some flowers. She's had a couple of falls lately. She tripped over a manhole cover. And she's not the only one who's done that, so... 
we might be do something about that. Okay, so I'm a bit puffed out on the other two floors of stairs. Might want some sound again. We have one going off. And get some thicker stuff. Let's get that in there, the shadow side. Reflections to put in as well. <coughs> they remember some of these branches, they they go down as well. Don't know what trees they are. But you can get some lovely effects with the, the hake. So I'm going up here. They really love it all. Anything that makes it a bit of interest. Going back to what I was saying about the perspective, don't worry too much about it. It's something that you will learn to do by doing. And you will uh, you, you'll, you'll, it'll all come together. The, just the more you do it, the easier it becomes and I, 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 it's a rule of thumb for me if it looks right it is right okay let's do an overlap right I want some in there I suppose it's still a bit wet look doing those. <coughs> With a the rigger it looks too mechanical. So I'm coming across. I have to reinforce that bit when that's dry. And I've got the light coming through the middle. So uh, So try it off in a bit, but I just want to just uh, just wet this in here with a dirty brush. Then, as, as that, when that dries a bit, I can will help it.
Okay. Put some. Uh, try that a little bit more. Um, some. Some of the autumn leaves. Sienna. That's touching. Darker. The shadow side. This is red in there. Okay. Now I'm going before I go back and finish those off. <coughs> I'm going to uh, put in some of that blue reflection. Okay, I'm going to dry it all off now and just finish off with the figure. Going into to there. Oops. Okay, that, that will do. Let's so get my little brush. Ah, but, but I do like my bit of red. My bit of tag red. Or vermilion, whatever it is. 
I can't remember. Right, some water brush. Uh, I've got two, two, two figures, so a bit of burnt umber. I think this is Smoothie 77 uh, burnt umber, very strong. So let's just pull the head. Not too big, I'm going to have another little head there. A bit of child, uh, it's a bit of red. A bit of shadow in. Okay, that'll do. It's probably like a madhouse sometimes. Right, so I'm not going to do much more than that. Uh, that didn't quite come off, but that I'll let that go. Let's use this to sign it. Okay, a naff bird, do we want a bird? Yeah, got, let's go put a bird in. Okay, anything else? No, that'll do. Thanks for watching, folks. Uh, put it in a mount. Uh, right, let's do that a little bit. Oops. I'm hoping all this moving about is going to be a thing of the past. I thought that was my camera, didn't I? That on there. The sun's very low in the fries, and I've had to draw a blind. Right. Sorry about the, uh, <laughs> the mess on it. I keep promising to change it. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Just remember about perspective. If it looks right, it is right. Because as you do more of perspective work, barns and old buildings and stuff, you'll get to know how to do it. It'll just come with second nature and it might not be accurate, but uh, we're, we're not doing photorealism here, we're doing impressions. So thanks for watching, I'll see you soon. Bye bye. <laughs>